Greetings everyone. Today I want to bring to you a simple and direct understanding of non-duality in about 60 seconds. Basically if somebody asked me point blank what is non-duality and I had to answer on the spot, this is what I'd try to sum it up as. So hopefully this can help you understand the concept yourself if you are new to it or looking to refresh your mind about it. So in essence, non-duality is the philosophy that the personal self, which we identify as real through the lens of our thoughts and our experiences, is merely a fictional manifestation of Brahman or pure awareness, which is often in the non-dual sphere known as consciousness as well. And that is where the term non-dual comes from, not dual, not two, that everything is one, or that I should say one is everything. This can be seen more clearly in non-duality with the fact that any idea of me or I is merely a manifestation of Maya or delusion. Our own ignorance masquerading as truth to our own mind currently. And that beyond this lack of awareness, there is no such thing as separation, both on an individual and cosmic scale. There is just pure existence in which our perception is the only apparent creation. And that is a key to remember, an apparent creation, not a fundamentally real thing. So on a philosophical level, this means non-duality is the effort of reminding ourselves and coming to understand that our individuality and the universe as a whole being seen or known in any finite form is really only an appearance built in ignorance. The same way we might mistake a rope for a snake when it is concealed by darkness, but in the light of day it becomes revealed to us and we can see clearly that it was never a snake, it was only a rope. It was our lack of being able to see our own ideas of what we thought something was that made us think the rope was a snake when it never really was. It was always just a rope. Much the same, it is only in the absence of all thoughts and differentiations that pure awareness or our non-dual nature can be revealed to us. And that is essentially non-duality in a nutshell. A very quick definition, but one that can definitely be expanded on and has by many teachers across time for many hundreds of years. Now when it comes to understanding non-duality, there are also different schools of thought and practice surrounding it, from Advaita Vedanta to Vivekananda's more Neo-Vedanta to modern non-dual teachers we see a lot today who speak a lot about Neo-Advaita. So there is a lot to go into there, and I'll be making a full video on that soon, so make sure to stay tuned. But hopefully this small little sample or concise sum up of non-duality can help you understand the philosophy if you're new to it or wanting to see what it is on a very basic level. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you soon. Ram Ram.